All right, y'all boys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a thumbnail in Arc Survival Evolved. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna need is a GeForce or an NVIDIA graphics card. And cause you're gonna wanna G the GeForce Experience app. So when you Alt, as you can see, when I Alt Z, the GeForce Experience will pop up and you'll see photo mode right here. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is have Arc Survival on Steam. Go to Steam, click play on Arc, and then you'll see the launch options pop up. You wanna click the one that says launch with Arc, Nvidia, and Anzel. This is so you can go into like camera mode and whatnot. So go ahead and boot Arc up with that. Now, there's gonna be two, two links in the description below for mods that you will need for this. One of the mods is more emotes, and the other mod is invisible floating structures. So go ahead and download those. But once you download those mods and you go to host local, all your mods should pop up on the right here. Just go to available mods down here. Click on the mod you want to put up top and have active and then click the arrow to move it to the active mods uh, section. And then go ahead and load up uh, whatever map you want to do your thumbnail on. I just do island. I feel like the lighting's good on island. So we're loaded in here. We're going to go into GCM. And when you have floating structures, go to crafting and look up loading and you'll see this one right here craft one of those bad boys and then you can place this anywhere you'd like i recommend going somewhat outside the map like over here as you can see and then you place the floating structure and you land on it perfect so the next thing is when you have the um emo mod if you hover over it it'll tell you how to use it so for this one we're gonna do this emote right here we're gonna use this one to make a thumbnail, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click backspace to get rid of our HUD. We're gonna go into first person and straighten out our character. Now what we're gonna do is go into our uh, command prompt and type in slow-mo and then I just do 0 0.01, like that, right? So now what you do is you're gonna wanna do your emote and then as your emote is starting, you wanna click Alt-Z and this will pop up. Wait till you get in the spot you want it and you click photo mode, boom. So you'll be in this little photo mode right here. As you can see, my character's right here. So what you're gonna wanna do next is align it, your camera to your player. Why is my mouse not working all of a sudden? All right, so now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna do the emote, this emote right here, Alt Z. Wait till I get it where I want it. And right there, as you can see right here. So. Now what you wanna do is you wanna line your character up. So on the left side right here, I'm gonna move my field of view down to like, we'll do 85 should be good, 85. Right, so I think 85 is a good, uh, good FV to have it on. It's honestly personal preference. You just get it to where you like it. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of space on the left side of the screen here, as you can see, so I can put text and, and, and pictures and whatever. So now what you're gonna do is go to filters and click add filter. And you're gonna look for green screen. And you can adjust this as you can see, you can adjust the green screen. What you wanna do is just adjust it so it's all behind your character. As you can see, there's like some white around here from the sun and whatnot, but we can, we can get rid of that with Photoshop. So what you're gonna wanna do is just click snap. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go into spectator mode. So click command, enable spectator. And as you see, my hands just disappear right there. So now what you want to do is just go right here and take a screenshot of this capture a screenshot just like that now what we're going to want to do is go into photoshop if you don't have photoshop i'll leave a link in the description to get a cracked version of it all right so we're in photoshop we're going to open a brand new template and we're going to go down here and we're going to change the, uh, the width and whatever to pixels and YouTube, the, the thumbnail is 1280 by 720. And then we're gonna go down to background contents and click transparent creates. Boom, just like that. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the file where that uh, green screen of your character, the, uh, the screenshot of that, go to where that saved. There we go. All right, so as you can see, we have this one right here. We're gonna open file location. On my second monitor it popped up so we're going to scroll down to where we find it and it's going to be this one right here go ahead and drag that now to get rid of the green screen all you're going to want to do is click on go down here click on this right here at the bottom right click on this layer and then go to the top click select and then click color range 
Now what you wanna do is take the fuzziness, move that all the way to 200, check the invert box, and then selection preview, go to black mats. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna click on the green screen just like that. As you can see, it removed all the green. So what you're gonna to wanna to do after that is click okay, and it's gonna have a cutout of your character model. Now all you're gonna to wanna to do is when this is selected, go to the bottom right here and click this little camera looking thing, it's add a layer mask. Boom, that's gonna remove the green screen. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do is go to where we had the background. I'm gonna use this one. It's a different one that I have, but I'm gonna use it. And that's gonna load in as you can see. And it's gonna cover the character. All you wanna do is go on the right side of the layers and drag it under your character. All right, so as you can see, we have our character. I'm not worried about this white part right here. That's just because of the lighting where I took the screenshot. If you want, you can find a better spot to take it and uh, this won't show up, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to add a white glow around the character anyways to make it pop. So now what I like to do is I like to add my text. So I'm going to go down on the left side of the screen. And I'm going to click the T. Boom, just like that. All right, so I'm going to type something. Let's just say day one, right? And I'm going to go back up to this tool right here so I can move this around. And if you want the, the text to be like behind the character, what you're going to want to do is on the right side where your layers are at, drag your text underneath your character model and it should go like this. So I kind of like it like that. That looks pretty nice. To make your text kind of pop out more, what you're going to want to do is on your layers on the right side, click on your text, right click, very top blending options. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go through all these options and pick which one you think you would like. The ones that I personally use are stroke, drop shadow, and inner glow. Do one at a time I'd say so you can add them on so, so no effect is overpowering any other effect. So what you're gonna wanna do is you just wanna play with this. Now if there's any other uh, settings in here that you wanna change, just go ahead and check them, mess with the settings, see what you like. I like how this looks right now, so I'm going to go ahead and go out of there. So if you want to change the font and whatnot, go ahead and just select your text. As you can see, mine's already selected and just just mess with the fonts like click up here, click fonts and then just just start looking through them. Ooh, I kind of like this one. But I feel like there should be more space here, so I'm going to go ahead and edit that. Oops, just like that. Yeah, I like how that looks right there. So we have the text right there, as you can see. Now, as you can see, my character is pointing, pointing uh, backwards. So I'm gonna have something like a, like a, a screenshot of like the loot I get from the raid or something that's, that has to do with the video. And I'm gonna put it right here. So you guys already know how to get the screenshot, screenshot, bleh, screenshots and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the one I wanna use. And it's gonna be this one right here. So I'm gonna drag this on. I'm gonna shrink it and I'm gonna put it right here. Oh yeah, all right, so we're gonna make this, uh, this screenshot here pop out a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is on the right side where our layers are, we're gonna right click the uh, screenshot, go to blending options. We're gonna go to outer glow and we're gonna fuck with this a little bit. So I like to change it to like this bright yellowish color. We're gonna fuck with that a little bit. Turn the noise down. Actually, we don't want that spread as you can see, and then the size. So we're gonna turn like the spread all the way up. Actually, I, don't turn the spread all the way up because it'll make it like a solid border. We want it to be like a blurred effect. So we're gonna just mess with the settings here. And honestly, I think that right there looks perfect. So I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, so I like how that looks. So I'm gonna click OK. And I'm gonna move another screenshot into here. So we're gonna shrink that. And for this one, we're gonna add kind of like a tilt, so, or a rotation. So we're gonna go like, if you go click on it and then go to the top transform, as you can see this little setting right here, you can click this to do a very specific degree or you can kind of freestyle it and put it where you like. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a white glow around our character to make it pop. I messed with these screenshots a little bit. This is the best I can get it. I'm in kind of a rush right now, so. Yeah, so in order to, so how we create the glow on the character, same way we did it with these ones right here, you're gonna go ahead and click the character layer on the right. We're gonna right click that, blending options, outer glow, boom. As you can see, it's yellow, but I like it when it's white on the character. I don't know, it just gives it a light, nice little pop. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. 
Okay, and look at that. You guys just made your first ARC thumbnail. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully it was useful. If it was, drop a like. Make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 1,000 subs. It's been your boy Senses, and I'm out. Peace.